Okay, so I'm going to cover a topic that I went over very, very briefly on the last video, um, which is how to install software. The last video was how to install video uh, VNC, a remote desktop server um, piece of software. Now, for you beginners out there uh, who are very new to Linux, you're probably used to Windows, and the procedure is you go online and you download the software that you require you install it and that may require some additional software to work that additional software may be something along the lines of java or net and linux works exactly the same we call those additional files dependencies okay so we use the application um, apt get now what apt get does is it goes online and it looks to uh, a list of known um, repositories it searches through that known repository which is just a big database of software and it will find the software that we've requested so in the previous video it was VNC server and then it will also look and see if there's any additional software any dependencies that it requires and it will download onto your Raspberry Pi the software you need for the um, software that you're going to run and any dependencies that are needed and then it will install that um, automatically um, with very, very little interaction from yourself. So you can see here that we're running the command app get. We have the options to install, um, remove, um, we could um, upgrade some software. So app get um, is installed as standard on your Raspberry Pi under the Debian squeeze image. This is what I'm looking at on this particular version. In other operating systems, um, it, such as Fedora, it can be um, uh, there's an equivalent called Yum. Okay, so um, if we look at a file uh, called nano slash um, etc slash apt slash sources dot list, it will have here two main um, repositories. So we've got Debian squeeze main. So you can literally take these URLs and if you wish pop them into a browser and the way the app get works is what it will do is it will come into the system it will look through the um, essentially this, this giant database of software and it will go through like this it will look for um, alphabetically for the name of the software that you're looking for. So let's say, for example, we're looking for um, Apache, the web server. It would come down through here and it would then slowly look through into it. It finds, uh, there we go. So we've got some Apache, Apache 2 is what it would look for. So that's how um, apt-get works. So for example, let's have a look at installing a very simple um, web server. So I could use Apache, um, but I'm not. I'm going to use a slightly different web server software um, just to demonstrate apt-get, and I'm going to use one called um, Nginx. So what we would do is we would say sudo to give us admin rights, apt-get install, because I want to install the software, and then I would say nginx, so nginx. What it's going to do is it's going to look through the list of um, uh, through that database we just looked at, it's going to look for any dependencies, it's going to collect that, it's found that there are uh, three items to be installed, they're going to be a total of about uh, seven meg, do I want to continue? Yes, I do. So it then goes away to this um, repository, and has a look, and it comes back and says that it's failed, it's been unable to find um, what we're looking for, which is Nginx, um, version 1. Um, and you might wonder why it does that. So why don't we do the process manually? What we'll do is we'll go to the, um, the site, we'll go to pools and in domain and we'll look for um, n which will be somewhere down here. Oh. Okay and then let's look for the name of the package we were looking for. So it was Nginx. If we search through here, we find there is Nginx, and then there is all the versions that we're currently looking for. Now, if we go back to our putty session, 
and we looked through what it actually failed on is it was looking for nginx um, underscore 0 0.767-3 plus squeeze one arm dot blah 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 this is the exact version it's, it's looking for underneath now if we take that and we search for that in the background we actually can't find it the reason is it's because actually they've updated the version they're using in this repository and then actually now using one um, for Debian Squeeze 2. What that basically means is that our um, apt get has become out of date. So the way that we resolve this issue is we'll come in here and we can say um, sudo apt get update. So it's a way to make sure that our apt get um, application itself is actually up to date. Okay, so now that's run, what we're going to try and do is if we scroll through our commands, let's try and install that software again. Okay, it's going to ask us the same list of questions. But when we look this time, we can see, I know it's just off the screen, but it's looking for squeeze two, which is what we know is actually in that repository. It also now will find any additional um, dependencies that are required for this um, installer. And it'll go through and it will collect those. Okay, and there we go. So that's now installed Nginx. So um, I'm not going to cover how we install Nginx as a web server. Um, as that's going to be covered in one of my next topics, is how to build a web server with a PHP and MySQL backend, and we'll look at that in the next session. But that's a very simple and quick overview of how to install software on your Raspberry Pi by using the um, apt-get command.